Hey guys, part two of the enemy turret. First thing we want to do is set up the rotation of our turret. We want to be able to track the player's position and move along with them. Um, in order to do that, we need to get our current location and the location of what we're trying to look at. Um, in this case, it's going to be the player. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Um, I'm just going to grab my uh, mesh variable called turret guns. Um, my blueprint has two components, a turret base and turret guns. The turret base is not going to move, it's essentially just a platform that the guns are going to sit on top of. Um, so the only part that's rotating um, in my blueprint is the turret gun. So I'm just going to grab those, I'm going to get those. Off of that pin we are going to get the world location. And once we have that, uh, we want to get the location of the player. So we're just going to grab uh, get player pawn and off of that we are going to get actor location and what we need to do is compare these two so we can um, find a, an angle um, and essentially rotate to that angle. Well Unreal already has a node for that set up so we don't have to do a bunch of complex math which is nice. So just off of the uh, get world location from our turret guns, just type in find and you'll see a node called find look at rotation. And we'll just plug our pawns location into the target. Um, we're going to take that return value and we're going to break that into a rotation. So just break rot. And what this does is it breaks down our rotation. We have pitch, which is our up and down movement yaw which is left and right and roll um, pretty self-explanatory there lets you roll side to side um, like doing a barrel roll so we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of room here um, just off to the side we're gonna grab a node called make rot and we're gonna plug the yaw into the yaw this is gonna be our left and our right movement um, Right off of our uh, make rot here, we need to grab our turret guns again. We're just going to get those. And this time we need to get the world rotation. And we're going to compare this rotation to um, the angle that we're getting back over here. And we want to create a smooth transition between those. So off of our return, we're going to grab a node called R interp our interp 2 and our make rot will be our target um, delta time we're going to use the variable we created earlier called delta time we'll just get that and plug that in interp speed now this is going to be the speed um, this is going to be how fast our turret rotates so we're going to grab that rotation speed variable we created and we'll just plug that in uh, right now we have we've set it to 1 um, we can kind of mess around with that um, and change it uh, once we get everything set up here. So off of our interp2, um, we need to essentially set the world rotation now. So we're going to grab our turret guns again. We'll just get those. And we're going to come off of here and we're going to say set world rotation. And our new rotation is going to be our interp2. Um, and now we need a way to call this. You can see we have a pin here. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a custom event uh, that we're going to call. We're going to make a game loop. And we're just going to constantly call this so we are constantly updating our rotation. So if you just right click and type in custom, you will see custom event. And we're going to just name this update rotation and we'll plug that in there um, so now all we need to do is call our custom event so up here uh, I'm just going to type in tick that's going to give us event tick uh, what this is going to do is it's going to be called every uh, frame of the game essentially um, and we're going to, we want to update our rotation constantly, so we are just going to come off of here and we're going to type update rotation, and that's going to call our custom event we just created. 
Um, one thing in our event is we have uh, this variable called delta time. Now we haven't set that yet. We want to set that at runtime, and we want that to be these uh, delta seconds here. So I'm just going to come off of uh, our tick here, and if you just type in set, um, you will see we have uh, delta time. And I'm just going to plug the delta seconds into delta time. We'll go ahead and just compile and save really quick. Uh, now if you just drag a copy of the blueprint into the level, uh, go ahead and hit play and fly your ship around or walk around with whatever you're using for your player pawn and you will see that our turret follows us wherever we go. Um, one thing you'll notice if you go up or down um, the turret does not go up or down yet that's fine we will set that up right now so let's go ahead and hop back into our blueprint so back here where we broke our rotation and uh, created a rotation uh, what we need to do is if we were just to set pitch to pitch um, I'll just do that and show you real quick and I'll hop back in here and you can see um, it does work but there's severe problems um, we have clipping going on um, it just kind of goes wherever it pleases so we need to kind of set up a boundary so that when the player goes up and down um, the turret's not getting out of control we want to limit its movement essentially so we're just going to hop back into our blueprint here I'm just going to unhook this so off of pitch the first thing we want to do is we, with our pitch um, being that we have uh, barrels on our turret and the barrels we have on on this turret are pretty long so we need to take those into consideration so we're just going to uh, Sub do a subtraction here so it's just going to be a float minus float and for our subtraction we are going to actually grab our inner turret settings we're going to grab that variable called barrel length and we'll plug that in now depending on your model you may need to change the value of this if your barrels are really long or really short um, I have mine set to 4 right now uh, we may change that at a later time but we'll just leave it at 4 right now so what we want to do now is we need to set up a essentially a boundary. So we're going to grab a node called clamp angle. What this is going to do is this is going to prevent um, the turret from moving too far. Uh, this is going to help us so we don't have any clipping or the turret going way out of control and looking funny. So our minimum uh, angle degree, yeah, we'll start out with negative 10 and our maximum, let's say 35 and I'll just compile and save that real quick and we'll hop back into the editor um, and now you can see that uh, when I fly up um, the turret is limited by how far I can go up and when I go down the turret follows us back down and it is also limited to how how far down it can go and we go side to side and up and down and the turret tracks our movement and rotates to where we are. Okay, now that we have that set up, um, we will go on to adding some more functionality in the next video.